Whoa, hey everybody, it's me Richard with Nightmares Anyone. Yes, 11 more days to Halloween. Can you guys believe it? Yeah, in today's video, I've got so much to con uh, to attempt to conquer. I've got bookstore book haul. I've got book mail. And Bruce and I went and saw a horror movie last night. So I'm going to do all three at once. Come back after the intro. Everybody. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Richard. So thanks for coming back. Yeah, can you guys believe it's only 11 days till Halloween? Oh my God, I cannot. So, uh, as you guys can tell, I'm wearing my I'm a Pepper, uh, I'm a Pepper shirt. Uh, yes, because October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Normally, I would always be rocking a horror t-shirt, but uh, yeah, I know so many people love this shirt as much as I do. I love hot pink. I love lime green. I love purple. But I just wanted to throw this out to four or five people. I haven't forgot you guys. Yeah. I haven't forgot you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you all know who you are. Uh, well, what the hell? I'll just name them all anyway. So there's uh, Larry Yance. There's Adriana. There's... Tammy, there's Christy, there's uh, B, there's uh, Thomas, and Alex. So, hey, you guys, I have not forgot you. Uh, yes, I still wear my pink, and I still wear my bright colors, uh, but let's get into all this stuff. So, um, first off, uh, yesterday I finished uh, my dear friend Solomon Petcher's. He sent me an arc, an advanced reader copy of his newest book that is coming out it is called Cullen. Now I will pop up a temporary cover. I'm not sure if this is the permanent cover. So if it's not, please Solomon, let me know. But I was the first to uh, review it. I, I read this book in under five hours and uh, oh my God, I was a wreck. But you guys can check out my review right here on my Goodreads account. The book is coming out soon, uh, very soon. Uh, I know a, a couple of my other dear friends that uh, I spoke their names earlier in the shout out uh, about the t-shirt and being my crushes. They got um, on the, um, they got to be ARC readers too. So I cannot wait to hear what they thought. But uh, yeah, Solomon, thank you so much. Uh, the book was just, the book was an experience. Uh, completely different than anything Solomon has ever written. It deals with bullying, uh, suicide, and yeah, everybody, come on. Bullying is not a good thing. So, uh, I wanted to get that out. Uh, I have, I've got uh, five books to show you guys. Actually, I have seven, but I can't show the other two because they're going out for uh, Christmas gifts. But uh, yeah, I will show the five of the seven books that uh, br that I picked up last week at the bookseller. Our favorite, favorite, favorite used bookstore. And right now, as of Thursday, Jennifer, the employee that uh, was also in my video, she just sent me a video of her and Boogeyman Ben. Yeah, Boogeyman Ben, who does... Uh, Boogeyman Ben's, uh, yeah, Nightmare Channel on YouTube. He's up at the bookstore today. Yeah, he popped in this morning. So I'm so pumped. She sent me a great picture of her and Ben in the store. So I cannot wait. Hopefully Ben took some awesome video while he was in the store. Uh, Ben's a huge horror freak like I am. I'm going to take a sip of uh, Fuji apple water. I need to refresh my throat really quick because my allergies. Hang on just one sec. I will edit that guzzle out. 
gosh. So uh, I'm going to show you right now what I got. Um, now, I have to pop my readers on. Yeah, like I tell you guys all the time, it's a bitch getting old. Yeah, and I'm old. I'm going to be 63, 62 in January. Don't feel it, though. Well, lately I have been because my uh, shoulder and my uh, left humerus bone. Um, yeah, I've been going to see some doctors and stuff. But let's get into uh, what I got at the store. So Jennifer had uh, let me know that she had two um, very old and uh, collectible books. But I did buy one of them. This one, because I had the second one. Uh, this one is from Dell Publishing, 1963. This is a new Dell edition. First Dell printing right there. This looks really, really cool. It only has a cover price of 50 cents. It has 160 pages, and this is from Dell. This is Anne Chamberlain's masterpiece of suspense. Brilliant and chilling enough to make your skin crawl. The Tall Dark Man. Looks so cool. Yeah, it looks great. Once in a great while, a suspense novel is hailed as a masterpiece of, by both mystery reviewers and critics of serious fiction. That rare distinction has been achieved by this story of a young girl who was the terrified and defenseless quarry of a murderer to whose crimes she was sole witness. Yeah, I just love these old books. Reminds me of my copy of uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Yeah, and you guys all know that that's the book that started me on this uh, trend of horror. So uh, two of the other books that I picked up are uh, not new to me. And those of you that uh, have been following me for three years know that Boy's Life is my favorite book of all time. But uh, when I see books by this author... I never pass them up. And uh, yeah, this book being the number one successor, in my opinion, to Stephen King's The Stand, Robert R. McCammon's Swan Song. Yeah, like a brand new copy, except there's just a little crease there. And then uh, Gone South by Robert R. McCammon. This is the only book, believe it or not, I've never read Gone South. I have it. I have it right there in a limited edition, very first copy hardback. But uh, yeah, I got those two. Um, and then these two books, I probably won't be reading, but I know Bruce will. So up there on that shelf are all, uh, I think 11 or 12 Cirque de Freaks books um, by Darren Shan. Bruce read all of these, all of those. But this is his... Uh, <coughs> these are the first two books in his um next series the demonada i just thought these were really 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 cool looking this is book one beautiful hardback yeah beautiful hardback uh this one's lord loss the demonada book one it says uh Grubbs Grady hates history and ballet and loves bacon rats and playing tricks on his squeamish oldest sister. When he opts out of a weekend family trip, he never guesses that he is about to take a terrifying journey to the heart of darkness. Hungry demons and howling werewolves haunt this waking nightmares. Wake hit haunt his waking nightmares and threatens his life. This first book in the chilling new Demonata series by Darren Shan, author of the best-selling Cirque de Freak series, will keep readers turning page after terrifying page. Very cool book. Uh, very, very, very cool looking, actually. Um, it's only got 227 pages. And then here's book two of the Demonata. This is Demon Thief. Yeah, I love the look of these books. They're kind of in matte, muted colors. Um, so I don't want to read the back because I don't want it to spoil what uh, book one is about. And sometimes that can happen. And then uh, I got something else in the mail yesterday. Uh, yeah. And I already opened it because I had no idea what this was from. So uh, 
This is from, let me fold over my address. This is from Solomon's Mine Books. I thought it was something from Solomon Petcher's, but uh, I think the Solomon's Mine Books is, uh, yeah, like King Solomon's Mines. That's the name of their bookstore. So I didn't know what this was, so I actually opened it last night. And then um, when I found out what this was, I was so excited and pumped. So I'm gonna open it and pretend like I'm opening it again for you guys. So we're gonna take this there. Thank you that this came wrapped in a kind of pro protective uh, covering. Yeah, and this book was $9. There's my receipt. Um, uh, yeah, so, oh my God, I'm so excited to finally have this. Now, this little novella, novelette, novella uh, is only 55 pages, but it is from one of my new uh, and favorite authors of horror and he wrote this yes Hillhaven creeps and the Halloween King my favorite Halloween book of probably the last five years so this is Donnie's day god I cannot believe I finally got a copy of this yes Brandon Burnson I got a copy of Donnie's day it says at 14 Donnie Daniels lets loose a horde of demons by opening a forbidden tome his entire family paid for his crimes then. Now, years later, the past is catching up with him. The demons he unleashed are destroying the only life he's ever known, the only peace he's ever found, the only woman he's ever loved. Donnie is scared for more than just his life. The demons of his past are not just figments of his imagination. They are very real, and they are tormenting Donnie now in ways he never thought possible. Yeah, from Damnation Books, cannot wait to read this one. Been trying for years to get it. Uh, a copy never came available, and when this one finally did, I was not going to pass it up. So, I got down uh, the bookseller books. I got uh, these three books that, uh, yeah. And then now I've got uh, books that came this morning as replacements. Now, um, a couple weeks ago... I was talking to Christy uh, Randazzo, and we were talking about two uh, books by an author that I love. I just read his book, Hell Hollow. You can see the re the review for that book. Uh, did I do? Yeah, I did a review, I think, in my last uh, video, I think. If not, but yeah, I'm sure I did. But I uh, reviewed Hell Hollow by uh, Ronald Kelly. And I hadn't had these books um, just because I hadn't ordered them. I ordered them, and uh, one of them was signed. They came like this. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon delivered them on our front porch, and I will pop up and enlarge this picture so you can see all three of them. Yeah, Amazon dropped the books on the front porch on a soaking wet welcome mat. Now, these had come in a paper envelope, so they were destroyed when I opened them. Yeah, so I had to get a credit. Uh, Amazon refunded me for the full purchase price, plus sent me two new ones. However, they're not uh, the ones not signed, but I did get them this morning. So, uh Let's open these and make sure that these two are both okay. Yeah. If not, I'm not going to be happy with Amazon. But as we can tell already, these came in uh, the plastic protective. Yeah. Good job. So uh, these are both holiday themed. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward actually to reading both of these. So... Uh, this is from, hmm, what year did this come out? Actually, it doesn't have the year. It just says copyright by Ronald Kelly. First edition. Oh, 2020. So, yeah. There's the first edition. 
However, this is Season's Creepings. Yeah, Tales of Holiday Horror. Says on the back, Christmas can be the most wonderful time of the year. Candy canes and hot cocoa, snowmen and sleigh rides, the love and hope that the nativity brings, cold milk and warm cookies for Santa, family, friends, and the cheerful laughter of children. But beneath the festive wrapping paper and the gleam and glitter of the lights and tinsel, things just things less jubilant may lie in wait. The holiday season can bring love, peace, and benevolence. I like that word. But it may also spawn a darkness lurking amid the shadowy bows, boughs of the Christmas tree, ornaments, and should never have seen the light of day, let alone hung on festive branches and bones, the jingle and dance in search of Santa's crimson suit and the flesh that resides within. In this collection of harrowing holiday tales, Ronald Kelly weaves ten frightful and horrific gifts in the Christmas stockings that hang from the mantle of your cheerful fireplace. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ghastly and Gruesome presents the slowly... Oh, wait. Ghastly and gruesome presents that slowly unwrap and burst into life while you are tucked and snug and warm in your bed and taken on nightmarish form in the icy winter hours of Christmas Eve, turning comfort and joy into terror and dread. This is from uh, Macabre Inc. That's the back cover. So, yeah, this book is not very big either. It has uh, 10 tails, like I said. And there's 115 pages. So that's one of them that uh, I had to get a replacement of. Now, this is the one that was signed. So uh, I'm kind of bummed about this. Um, and then this one, I know a lot of you have already read because a lot of you have t were the ones that told me about it. Uh, this one came out in 2020 also. Um, this one has, let me see. Hundred and thirty seven pages. This is the Halloween store and other tales of all Hallows Eve. Now I'm not gonna read the back of this. Uh, because it does it does give a synopsis of each tale. I want to go into this open-minded, so I'm not going to read the back of that. So you guys, once again, yep, I want to say uh, thanks to all of you that tuned in. Um, plus, I was going to do a really cute, not cute, but a really quick review of a movie that Bruce and I had gone and seen last night. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> As you can see from the picture on my thumbnail, I am standing in front of a movie marquee from last night. Uh, the movie started at 10 o'clock, 10.15. Now, think back to 1978. There was a movie that made over $200 billion, I think. But it was, at one time, the most successful independent film ever made. In 1978, John Carpenter brought us and thrilled the world with Halloween. Yes, Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. Many, 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 many films later, the movie still goes on to make billions of dollars, I swear. But, that's not the movie we saw last night. Hmm. So, this is also the third movie into a trilogy of horror films. Now, considering that the first two movies were so well made, so independently and inexpensively made, and went on to become cult followings and status, status symbols, we decided to finally see this. Terrifier 2. Now... This is my opinion only. You guys don't have to agree with me. I know a lot of you liked this movie. Now, this movie was roughly two hours and 24 minutes long. Almost an hour longer than Terrifier, which is still a movie that I love. I watched it with my nephew, um, Ryan, when I was up there a couple weeks ago, and uh, he loved it. Scared him, terrified him, just like the title says. However... We went into the theater last night 
And Bruce had not seen any of these films, so he did not even know. He knew who Art the Clown was. He had no idea what the story was. Uh, but we sat in a theater that was probably half full, and uh, the movie didn't get out till almost 1 o'clock. This was the dumbest, most stupid, ridiculously uh, cheesy, no plot whatsoever. Uh, the special effects makeup was absolutely dreadful. The inconsistencies of the film and the editing were so bad that I cannot believe this movie is playing in theaters and making the money that it is. Yes, it was made for around $300,000, I think somewhere around there, between two and $300,000. This movie is dreadful. Um, Art the Clown is, is being played by someone different, but that doesn't matter because he doesn't speak. He does pull off the character well. However, the inconsistencies of this film are so bad that the audience... Um, well, before I get into that, I'm not going to give a review of this movie. I'm just going to tell you how we felt about the movie. After about 45 minutes, uh, everybody told me, oh, Richard, get ready because it's disgusting. It's the most nonstop, slaughter fest, gory. The movie was so dumb. It was so boring. It was so slow. You guys know me. I'm the biggest chicken shit of this stuff, but I love it. Not once did I cringe. Not once did I jump. I didn't even scream or close my eyes. It was so bad that um, after a while, the audience, uh, who was just as bored, started yelling out, Oh, look, now her legs are clean again. Oh, my God, look, he's got, you know. So one, oh, God, it was just so many blooper after blooper after blooper after blooper after blooper. It was so bad. I can't recommend it. Uh, wait till it comes out on um, your local cable channel because I'm sure it'll be there soon. Uh, I was surprised that I thought it was going to end last night. So we went last night. It got held over for another week, the uh, guy at the theater said. Uh, yeah, so can't recommend that one. Hated it. Dreadfully hated it. Uh, would be a movie in the three film series that I'll probably never watch again. It was just ridiculously bad. Um, however, the thing that did make the night fun, uh, I had gone to use the restroom and... Uh, oh, before I get into the restroom thing, so at the beginning of the film, this disclaimer came up saying, oh, please stay after the film, after Terrifier 2, to watch, you know... A behind the scenes and making of the film and blah, 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 blah. See, deleted scenes. So I thought, oh, that'll be cool. Hour into the film, like I said, Bruce and I were both ready to leave. It was so bad, but he wanted to see what, uh, you know, if the plot got better, there was no plot. It was so cheesy. It was so stupid. Nothing was explained. Um, it was just dumb. But here's the fun thing. So I went to use the bathroom about an hour 15 minutes into the movie i was so bored so i went in to use the bathroom and uh both of the urinals were uh in use so i went into one of the three stalls and one of the guys that was using the urinal said dude watch out there's two huge spiders in there so i thought okay it's the halloween time it's halloween this is gonna be a joke i walked into the stall there was a spider about the size of a quarter, black. It was not a uh, daddy long leg. I would have taken a picture of it. However, I had left my phone in the theater with Bruce turned off. There was the biggest ass hairy black spider on the toilet seat. And as I walked in and opened the door, the spider did this and crawled over the toilet. Well, just as that one did, I noticed to my left and there was an even bigger one and it had crawled up the wall of the <laughs> stall. So yeah, I didn't use the bathroom. I did wash my hands and walked back to the front of the theater. And I told the people behind the counter, because it was now after midnight, they were cleaning up the theater. I told them, I said, you know, yeah, it's the holiday season, but I just wanted to let you know there's two of the biggest, huge black fucking spiders in the men's room. So they were all like, no, dude, are you kidding? I'm like, no, in that, in, in the long hallway bathroom, 
Yeah, so you guys just, uh, yeah, it's holiday season, but just be aware of when you use public bathrooms. Spiders do like to hang out around toilets, sinks, um, because they do. Uh, they drink water, but these two spiders were huge. So, yeah, I can't recommend uh, Terrifier 2. It was dreadful. 11 more days till Halloween, you guys. And like I say all the time, live your life like a book. Just don't turn that last page because once you do, it's over. Be nice to people. No to bullying. Um, those in honor of this pink t-shirt, I've lost uh, many dear friends, including a sister to breast cancer. I've had a dear, dear friend, Emily uh, Rimlin, go through it. Uh, and she's just, she flew through on uh, with flying colors on the other side. But uh, yeah, so if you know somebody... Uh, going through breast cancer just be there in support of them and if you have a chance make sure you order cullen from solomon petra's when it is released it is quite the book um yeah phenomenal book but once again i will leave a link to my goodreads account right there and if you haven't done so already please hit that subscription button right there so you don't miss out. You have to ring that bell, though, so you don't miss out on any upcoming uh, horror content. Hey, you guys, it's me, Richard, with Nightmares, anyone. I will see you in the next video. And, yeah, you'll see me a couple more times before Halloween. Take care, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later.